Hello again everybody, it's Lou Sims here and I'm here today to share something really quite exciting. It's the first set of dies for the launch of the New Tonic Studios Designer Die Series and this is the launch of the dies for October. So, what do you get? Well, you get this collection of dies here. I haven't got mine on a magnetic sheet yet because I'm still waiting. So you get your base die and that's what it looks like there and what it will make is a really cool easel card. You get a decorative feature within the die, but you can see it there and it fits in so you can either cut it into this part of the die, um, you can mount it out separately. It does cut into the die, it's not um, a Verso Edge die, so it comes out as its own separate piece. You then get another part which is the top of the easel but can be used separately and within that you then get this most stunning, stunning dragonfly. And the dragonfly can be also an independent, cut it in, layer it up, um, lots of different ways to use it. You also get quite a few, whoops, I'm trying, she says, smaller accessory dies. I'm picking them all up. And they you get three butterflies, two flowers, and a set of little hearts. Now the smaller butterfly, which I will show you because I've cut some die cuts out, fits perfectly onto this layer here on top of there. Um, the other flowers are slightly larger, but I, I've die cut some out like I've said and we can then have a quick play with them. So you get those smaller, so you've got six little accessories and then you get two sentiments. They come with their own backing plates, so you get a larger one and a slightly smaller one. This one is just for you and that cuts out independently and the words cut into your card and this one is with love. Again, that cuts out separately and the letters cut within the card. So, let's have a look at some of the die cuts. I'll just move these to one side. So, what do you get within the die cuts? So that is the backing plate for here, for the dragonfly part. So, your dragonfly can then sit on top like that. Let me grab a ruler and I'll give you an idea of some of the measurements. So that part there is approximately 12 centimetres and at the tallest part, oh, 8 centimetres. And the dragonfly is 11 and a half by... Oh, six and a half, possibly seven centimetres. I'll put the... Um, inches in the video. So I'll try and lift this up so you can see. So the dragonfly is beautiful. I mean, look at the tail. I mean, it's crying out to be paper pieced um, because all the beautiful colours. It would be wonderful if you put a piece of acetate underneath it and coloured the acetate with your markers um, and that would make, you know, the, the wings look translucent and all those different colours popping through. So that's one part of the easel. The other part is this layer here, which, I'm going to move those, forms this part of your die. And what they've done this time round, which I think is absolutely ingenious, rather than waste too much card, is this flap here, this part here, will end up sticking to the, the butterfly part, the dragonfly part here, so then form your actual easel that way. So that's your base layer. So let's get the ruler and it is approximately 12 and a half centimetres and I'm going to include the flap. Um, ooh, mm, approximately 11 and a half centimetres. When I've made my card I'll measure it then and put the end measurements in so you get an idea. So they're the two main components that will create this wonderful dragonfly easel. You've then got this beautiful decorative, and this is it here, this decorative die here. And what is really lovely about it 
is can you see it's cut away that so the wings can sit up and so can on some of the petals on some of the flowers even this one the little bit of the petals can actually stick up as you can see there and as I was saying the smaller butterfly where's my smaller butterfly oh she says oh there it is I knew I'd cut one the smaller butterfly die that you get as you're separate can sit perfectly on top of that butterfly there so it fits beautifully but then again it's an independent um, embellishment in its own right and that is a beautiful beautiful die cut and it it fits snugly onto the base if I get the base card that would probably be easier it sits absolutely snugly can you see onto the edge there so it it's absolutely wonderful and it, you could use cut these twice and make it in lots of different ways I'm not going to give away too many hints just at the moment I just want to share with you what the dies and the die cuts look like so that is beautiful now as I said before you get your sentiments so that's your base plate and then on your separate one is your just for you and as you can see the wording actually cuts into your card um, so you can then have it separate like that or you can layer the two on top of each other the choice is totally yours you then get a smaller one and it also as I said before comes with its own base plate and you get the with love and again you can cut them out in different colors and layer them on top of each other and then you've got your different butterflies as I said before so you've got one two three each slightly different in size so you get from bigger well, let's do it bigger middle small you can use them independently they would layer up on top of each other perfectly because they go down in size so you could add some real dimension to a butterfly and they're absolutely beautiful and then finally you get two different types of flower you get this type and then you get this type here which has two lots cut away into the petals you could layer them on top of each other there's lots of different things you can actually do with them but one of the things that I really did like was the waste that came out when you were um, die cutting um, this area here there's some beautiful swirly bits of waste that are just crying out to be used in another project oh and I forgot the last die now the last die is this set of hearts so you get two hearts one that makes a heart frame but you also get the center part of that heart and then one that just makes a solid heart so you get the frame and you get the smaller heart oh, let's turn it around the right way all fingers and thumbs and then you get your solid heart so you get those as embellishments and what I liked about these was they were a perfect size to fit within the butterflies which I thought was lovely if you wanted to add that extra detail on top of it or use them as they are but they're beautiful the little accessory dies and worth exploring more things with them gosh sorry for the waffle so that is your actual set of dies that you get for the launch of the new designer series so let's put them back together so you get your base your upper part that wonderful large dragonfly this beautiful floral arch two sentiments let's just move things out of the way so you get two sentiments just for you and you get with love and then you get two different types of flowers three different sized butterflies and then finally that gorgeous little heart set there which creates a frame and two solid hearts it's a beautiful beautiful set so what have I done with it well let me put everything away and we'll get cracking on with my first project <laughs> 